What is up, YouTube? Jacob from Bongabong Studios here, and I'll be showing you guys. It's going to be kind of more an advanced tutorial on physics and how physics works in this. So, you'd use this for if you have an explosion and you want forces applying or something like that, something advanced. If you have like maybe a building falling or something. Uh, what I'd recommend is you use a separate scene. So let's just get started and make this like a uh, basic demo scene. So I'm just gonna append, which is grabbing other objects. So let's see, I'll grab, I'll grab some bricks and maybe some grass or something. Let's just grab some grass, and that's all I need. I can delete this cube, and honestly, you can delete the light too. By hitting delete or the X button to delete all those objects. Um, so this is our brick, and this is our grass. So let's just throw our grass at the bottom. Okay. So... Um, we're just going to kind of make a quick floor, and to duplicate objects, you have to right-click on them, and hit Shift-D, and then you'll duplicate it, and then what I'll be doing is uh, holding Shift and right-clicking on multiple objects to select more than one, and then so I'll Shift-Duplicate that, and then hit X, so it only goes on the X-axis, and then Control, so it it only moves over a block pretty much which is perfect for minecraft because minecraft's all about blocks so i'm just gonna grab more and then there that should be good enough so then i'm just gonna make it a little wider so then i'm going on the y axis so shift d control y shift d control y <coughs> shift d y and then Control. I'm just gonna keep doing that until oh, uh, one more. That looks fine. So this doesn't have to be perfectly in sync, or well line up with that. So now we're gonna grab pretty much our floor. So I hit one to go on this side view. Five to make it perspective, no, orthographic. And then I hit Z to go into wireframe. So now I'm gonna hit B, and this allows you to select multiple objects. So I'm able to select all these objects, and you can see that. And then we're gonna add so or soft, no. What is it? Um, control. No, that's alt. Jeez, I forgot it. Anyways, we're gonna just hit control J. And that makes all the objects one. And then we're gonna hit soft, not soft body. Take that back. Collision. That's why. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, and now. This is our object that's going to fall. So we give it collision and rigid body. So if we hit Alt A, which plays it, it will fall through because it doesn't like to land. Oh, and then we also have to give our floor rigid body and passive. Yeah. So. Now we have a floor, and the cube lands on the floor. So if we go to the beginning, and we just kind of duplicate a couple more. And we'll just kind of grab a couple, couple of it. And now we hit Alt-A, they kind of bounce around. So we'll just grab all of them, and then we'll place them at the same level of the floor. When we hit Alt-A, they don't do anything. And that... 
that's nice if we want to have like a explosion I guess so I'll be showing you how to do that real quick too so now that we have physics on these cubes you don't want to do this for a scene that everything is pretty much static this is only for pretty much things that will explode or you want to have a realistic effect when they explode or add a force so let's add a force by hitting shift a and then you go to force field and then force so force is for explosions uh, wind is as it explains wind vortex kind of makes it go into loop de loop magnetic charge I don't know what charge does really but kind of mess with different ones turbulence kind of gives it a shaky feeling I guess and then drag so but we'll be focus on focusing in on force so we have force our strength and our flow and noise so noise is kind of the turbulence strength is strength and then flow is at what pace it's it's gonna keep repeating so we'll give it five for flow and let's say ten we'll just bump it up to point one for noise and then when we hit alt a it moves a little you can kinda see it kinda just shaking a little so what we do is we just amp up the strength so let's try a hundred so you can see how it's kinda shaking away and then they're falling so that's not a really good explosion. So we'll give it about a thousand. And when we hit Alt A, that, that looks better. So when we play it, it kind of looks like an explosion. So that's how you would add a basic physics, I guess, to an animation. So that way you don't have to animate an object falling like that. And if you wanted to, you could also use this for, I don't know if you have an animation where it gets someone like pushes a block over and you don't want to animate that cube falling. You can kind of just make it like that and then just have it fall over. And I mean, makes it a lot easier than having to animate that whole thing by hand. And thanks for watching. Uh, it's kind of been a not too exciting of a tutorial, but it'll help you if you need something kind of complicated or more advanced in your animation to put your animation up on top. So I, as I said, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and have a good day.